Welcome back to Katie Quiz, brought to you by GB Life. It is now time for the Katie Quiz Knowledge Check. In this round, we have five general knowledge questions. They're all picture-based, and we are going to award 20 points for correct answers in this round. 20 points will be deducted, though, for incorrect answers or any passing in this round. We're going to start things off with Hopewell High School. And Hopewell, before we get to your questions, we want to meet you. Hi, my name is Sharon Chen. I am a senior. I am involved in many sports and activities, including a marching band, dance team, arts, as well as NHS and art club. My name is Ethan Fletcher. I am also a senior. I was on the football team. I'm on the track team. I'm a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. I've done mock trial. I'm in the high school musical and I'm in NHS in class club 2024. Hi, my name is Lily Weber, and I'm a senior. I'm a part of Class Club of 2024, NHS, Mock Trial, Spanish Club, Hopewell Viking Musicals, and I'm the senior drum major. And this is our amazing coach, Mr. Nelson. He's helped us along the way. I'm really thankful for him. Hopewell, it's always great to have you here on the show. And here we go with your first knowledge check question. We want you to name this flower. Buttercups. That is a daffodil, but I can see why you would say buttercup. Look at this satellite image. Name this island. Iceland. Great guess. That is Corsica, though. Among Impressionist painters, ballet dancers are to Edgar Degas as Tahitian women are to whom? Tom Cruise. <laughs> that is a great answer, but... Paul Gauguin is what we were looking for on that one. Name this wrought iron lattice landmark. The Eiffel Tower. That is correct. Name the large semi-aquatic rodents of the Northern Hemisphere. Beaver. That is a beaver. You went two out of five in that round, so that means we have to drop 20 points off your score, and that takes you to 80 for the day. You're still doing great. Hope well. Leechburg High School, you are up next for the Katie Quiz Knowledge Check. But before we get to your questions, we want to meet you too. I'm Connor Duff. I'm a junior. Um, I'm involved in musical, quiz bowl, um, interact club, yearbook. Um, I'm in marching band. Um, yeah. And I'm yearbook vice president. Um, I'm Rachel Rinke. I'm junior class vice president. Um, I'm involved in a bunch of different activities, student council, yearbook, um, I do cheerleading, I'm in quiz ball, Spanish club, I'm in drama club as well. Hi, I'm Ava Freddy. I am junior class president, I am in math, on math team, quiz ball, uh, interact club, student council, science club, yearbook, and I'm on the volleyball and the softball team. And this is our guidance counselor slash coach, Dr. Lucas. Leechburg, it is always great to have you here on the show as well. And now it's time to put you to the test with this first question. Name this flower. Chrysanthemum. That is a very nice guess, but that is a hydrangea there. I can see why you would say chrysanthemum. No. Look at this satellite image and name the island. United Kingdom. United Kingdom is a great guess, but we were looking more specifically for the Ireland part of that. So that is Ireland and the judge will not accept that answer. You have more questions up for grabs though with this one. He has often been referred to as Rembrandt's main influence. His mythology subjects include the Three Graces, Venus at the Mirror and Prometheus Bound. Who was this Flemish painter? Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci is a great guess, but that is Peter Paul Rubens, and somebody better get those people some pants. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, name this monument. Is it called? The Arc de Triomphe. That is correct. Very nicely done. And finally, name this animal commonly known for their extensive tunneling activities and their ability to destroy farms and gardens. Groundhog. That is a gopher, but the judge is going to accept groundhog. Also going back 
Uh, to the uh, an earlier question in this round, uh, Leechburg, the uh, we asked you to look at the satellite image and name the island. You said the United Kingdom. Uh, the answer was supposed to be Ireland, but the map or the image showed the entire country. So he is going to give you those points as well. So that means you actually got three correct, two wrong in that round. That means you netted 20 points in that round and that takes you up to 70 on the day next up we have shady side academy and shady side before we get to your questions of course we want to meet you too hi i'm Sambhut Sinha. i'm a senior um other than quiz bowl i'm involved in the chess club the pre-med club uh, outside of school i play the violin and the piano uh, and this is my second time on the show hi i'm elliot sherry i'm a senior this year I do pre-med club and Spanish club in school, and I play piano and horseback ride outside of school. I am Peter De Silva. I am captain of the quiz bowl team. Uh, I am first trombone in the school's jazz ensemble. I'm involved in WSSA, which is Shady Side Film Club, and I also play ultimate frisbee. Uh, this is Miss McCool. Uh, she's our captain, and she is head of the history department here at Shady Side. Shady Side, it's always great to have you back here on the show. We're going to start you off by having you name this flower. A lotus. That is a lotus. Look at this satellite image and name this island. Hispaniola. Hispaniola is correct. Give me the name of the American visual artist, primarily a realist painter. His best known work, Christina's World, depicts a young woman laying in the grass and looking towards a farmhouse. Who is this artist? Wood? Wood is a great guess, but that is Andrew Wyeth. Name this landmark in Venezuela. Angel Falls. Angel Falls is correct. And name this medium-sized, long-tailed rodent that has an R name. Rat. A rat is that, and it is correct. You went four out of five. That means you added 60 points to your score, and that takes you up to 185 points, and you remain in the lead, Shady Side Academy. In uh, second place, we have Hopewell with 80 points, 10 points behind them with Leechburg at 70, and this is still anybody's game, and we have some big points up for grabs in the Katie Quiz Speed Round coming up next. <laughs> 